as we've been uh, talking about most of the afternoon, Richard Keyes and Andy Gray coming to Talk Sport. They'll be doing Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. till 1 p.m. Uh, loads of texts and emails asking why have Talk Sport signed them? Uh, there is no point in asking me and Goffey. We're not in charge yet. Uh, program <laughs> program director Moz D is in charge and he's with us on the show. So, Moz, why have you signed up Richard Keyes and Andy Gray? Because they're two premier sports broadcasters with many years' experience. Um, some might call them iconic. Um, clearly... Uh, everybody's been through a very intense couple of weeks. Um, lots of discussion and debate on what took place, indeed, on this very show. But it's that that heat, those discussions, those lessons have been learned, I think. And I think it's time to move on. It's time to move on, uh, not only for uh, Andy Gray and Richard Keyes, but for us to sort of build and attempt to build strength in our in our schedule, an already very uh, very strong schedule. I think these guys can add to it. I think it's a good thing for talk sport. There's a lot of presenters, myself included, uh, a lot of airtime spent uh, criticising Keys and, and Gray as well. So as, as a, the station as a whole, how does it deal with that? Well, I think quite rightly they were criticised. I think they acknowledge that. And I think um, they have articulated to me their regret for everything that took place um, and how uh, sad they were uh, that events unfolded in the way they did. But it's done. Um, they've learnt their lessons. I think they're genuinely remorseful and it's time to move on. It's time to move on and to do what they do best and what we do best, which is talk sport. Simple as that. Uh, and there's a lot of texts and emails asking what has happened to Mike Parry. Can you fill people in on that? I can understand that entirely. Mike has been a great stalwart of talk sport and years of fabulous service. Has been, he is a fantastic broadcaster. Uh, Mike made a decision that he wanted to move on, that he wanted to leave the station. And I'd like to say now publicly, we thank him wholeheartedly for all the work and all the effort that he's put in here across the years and wish him all the very best for the future. Mm, and when do they start? They start on Monday, Monday the 14th of uh, February, uh, 10 till 1 in the afternoon, five days a week. And it's going to be a sports show? Well, I think this is the strength that these guys bring, is it? This is, this is the strength they bring. Um, they've been at it for, for a great many years and they've probably seen and dealt with and been involved with many of the biggest sporting moments, particularly in football, uh, that we've witnessed in the UK. So they're ideally placed, I think, um, to help our audience discuss, debate um, and, you know, chew the cud on what's going on in the world of sport. They're also fabulously contacted. So um, I can imagine a, a lot of exclusives and a lot of big interviews, and a lot of big names coming and supporting uh, Richard Keyes and Andy Gray, Tentel One, uh, every weekday from the 